This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with BLDT SME Nation. Maririnig sa Ebanghelyo sa araw na ito siyang pinakamaganda sa lahat ng mga parabola ni Kristo. Where we will be told that there is a God who is nananabik na tayo makabalik sa Kanya. With grateful hearts then, we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, In the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, kanya pong sasabihin sa atin that it is God who reconciles us through Jesus His Son. Nais ng Diyos na muli tayo makipagkaisa sa Kanya. Siya ang naghahangad na tayo Kanyang makasama. For those moments when we continue to reject the offer of God's love, we ask His forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way, grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. As the Israelites are about to possess the promised land, the manna ceases because they can now eat. The produce of the land God's promise to Abraham that this descendants would inherit the land is now fulfilled. A reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I have removed the reproach of Egypt from you. While the Israelites were encamped at Gilgal on the plains of Jericho, they celebrated the Passover on the evening of the 14th of the month. On the day after the Passover, they ate of the produce of the land in the form of unleavened cakes and parched grain. On that same day after the Passover, on which they ate of the produce of the land, the manna ceased. No longer was there manna for the Israelites, who that year ate of the yield of the land of Canaan. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste how 
restores humility's friendship with God. Therefore, we now have the confidence to retrace our steps back to the Father. The second reading. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. And all this is from God, who has reconciled us to himself through Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation, namely, God was re reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin, who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. And go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them Jesus addressed this parable. A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance and a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens who sent him to his farm to tend the swine. And he longed to eat his fill of the pods on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hard workers have more than enough food to eat? But here I am dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hard workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants quickly, Bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast. Because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field, and on his way back, as he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father slaughtered the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry, and when they refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I have served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, you swallowed up your property with prostitutes. For him, you slaughtered the fattened calf. The father said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice, because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ang bilis ng pagbabasa ko, ang haba kasi ng gospel reading. You know? Pero, ito na may isang ating napapakinggan na ng ilang beses. Something that for me truly reveals kung ano nasa puso ng Diyos. Something to me that tells us that there is one word, sabi ni Pope Francis, that defines God. Mercy. Mercy. Undeserved, unmerited, un earn mercy. And dear friends, brothers and sisters, pwede kang magbigay ng isang seminar dito po sa sinasabi nating uh, topic, the gospel reading of the day. Kasapagat dito, para itong pelikula, nandyan yung pag-alis ng anak, unang eksena. Nandyan yung pagbalik ng anak, ikalawang eksena. Nandyan yung pagtanggap ng ama, ikatlong eksena. Nandyan yung pag pagdating ng Elder son, ikaapat na eksena. At ang challenge sa dulo, asang kayo rito sa karakter na to? Kaninong kukunin yung karakter? Yung older son, yung younger son, o yung ama? Sapagat hindi po tayo pwede magtagal ng limang oras dito sa telebisyon, eh gagawin po natin, suriin natin yung unang eksena. 
Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng katagang kasalanan? Simple lang kwento eh, di walang mga pangalan. Basta yung ama, yung nakakatandang kapatid, the elder son and the younger son. The younger son goes to the father and makes a claim. Dad, yung kukunin ko nga na pag ikay namatay, pwede ko nang kunin ba? Kunin ko na ngayon. Claim ko na. Parang simpleng tanong, simpleng request. Ngunit sa panahong iyon at sa kultur ng mga Hudyo, kung yun ang request ng anak ko sa akin, sasampalin ko siya ng left and right. Bakit? Walang karapatan ng sino man sa mga anak na umangkin ng kahit anong ako'y may-ari bilang ama. Hanggang ako'y buhay pa. Sa paglapit ng anak para sa binday, kukunin ko na. Parang sinasabi sa akin ng anak ko, mamatay ka na. Amin, nakakainsulto yun. Nakakagalit yun. That someone who does not yet have a right will now claim that right. But that is sin. Many times, ang sinasabi natin sa Diyos, buhay akin to ha. Bahay ko akin yan, pinagirapang ko yan. Pamilya ko akin yan. Lahat ng success ko akin yan. When we begin to claim all the blessings as truly ours and not as gifts, then we forget Yung sinabi sa atin ni Miss Verse back ni Pia that every respa- every honor comes with responsibility. Ibig sabihin, stewardship lang tayo. Tagapamahala, tagamanage, tagaalaga nung hindi atin, ngunit sa atin has been entrusted. Kayo nitong anak na ito'y claiming what is not yet even his. That was insulting God who says, para namang wala na akong pake sa iyo. You know, sa Amerika, ganun ang usapan. Yung anak sa sinapupunan ko, akin to. Akong bahala ko, anong gagawin ko rito. What about God? What about the God who gave you life? What about the God who is the source of all your blessings? Sin makes us forget who the real owner is. Ikalawa, itong anak kaya pala kukunin sa ama, may planong iba. I am going away. Aalis ako sa pamamahay na ito. Laalayas ako. Lalayo ako sa inyo. My dear friends, when we feel, ito, questioning ko kaya, pag ramdam mong malayo ang Diyos, guess who moved away? Not God. God would want His Son to be in that house. He would want to be close to His Son. He would not like His Son to be far away. God desires that we will always be with Him. And in the end, however, He will never force us to stay. This Son decided to go. And more than anyone else who was hurt, the Father. Pero itong mas grabe, bakit aalis? Kasi kaya ko nang mag-isa. May pera na kaya ako. Mayaman kaya ako. Malakas kaya ako. Makapangyarihan kaya ako. Kaya ko mag-isa. Alam mo, anong ibig sabihin ng iyon? Ng katagang iyon? Ng, kat- ng phrase na iyon? Kaya ko mag-isa, hindi na kita kailangan. Yun ang masakit. You know, yun ang kinakatakot sometimes ng mga magulang eh. Pag sabi ng mga anak, hindi na kita kailangan. Sakit nun. When you feel like wala ka na magagawa for somebody you love. When somebody you love tells you you are not needed. Ang sakit noon. Lalo na kung mahal mo yung tao. What if your wife na sobra mo mahal goes to and says, five years na tayo, ten years na tayo, fifteen years na tayo magkasama. I would like to move on with my life. A new chapter. But you will not be a part of that. Ang sakit nun. When you offer love and have that love rejected, that is a painful experience. And when the son decided to leave the house of the father, he was telling his father, hindi ko na kayo kailangan, kaya kong mag-isa. Kaya nga pala ang sabi nila, the most beautiful description of sin is this, the refusal to be loved and to love back in return. Tanggihan ang pag-ibig na inaalok sa iyo at tumanging magmahal din. God constantly does everything. Nilikha ko ang buong mundo para sa iyo. 
Ibinigay ko yung aking anak para sa iyo. Nag-aalay siya ng buhay sa krus sa napakatinding pamamaraan na mamatay ang isang tao para sa iyo. And yet we continue to refuse that love. Why? Why? Because the Son from the very beginning has lost how to make God as His first value. Nakalimutan niya na kung anong tunay niya mahala ka. Ang kinakita niya rito, hindi yung amay. Hindi yung relationship. Hindi yung bahay kung saan nagkakaisa sila. Hindi yung kanyang kapatid. Hindi yung sinasabing pamilya. Valuable things. Ang mahalaga sa kanya, pera. At ang sarili kong kalikayahan, makapag-enjoy sa kahit anong pamamaraan. My dear friends, that is what sin does. It offers us something na ito yung gali, paggagalingan ng tuwa mo. Only in the end to realize, hindi yun ang tunay na source ng joy and happiness. Ay, may, nung kami nasa, nasa, nasa Hong Kong, itong si Gabi Roa Limhoko, uh, pamangkin po ni Gloria Diaz, magkasama po kami roon at ang kanyang pamilya, ay natuwa naman ako sapagat biglang isinyer niya sa akin something that is worth sharing to everybody. It's attributed to someone who has become very, very rich. Billionaire, one of the richest in the world. Somebody who has become a legend. Somebody of people look up to. Ang pangalan po niya is Steve Jobs. Sinasabi, isinulat ni Steve Jobs etong aking babasahin ngayon. Grabe, as coming from a man who was a dying man. Ito ho yung kanyang sinabi. I have come to the pinnacle of success in business. Oo nga naman. iPhone, Apple, Diyos ko, perang walang katapusan. Kung success sa business, eto na yun. In the eyes of others, my life has been the symbol of success. Tinitingala, inakin na inaiinggitan. Someone looked up to, someone na kinahangad na makopya. However, declaration, apart from work, I have little joy. Sandali, billionaire ka, di ba? Kinalang-kinala ka, di ba? Legend ka, di ba? Nasa kapangyarihan at pwesto ka na. Bakit little joy? Tutuloy niya. Finally, my wealth is simply a fact of which I am accustomed. Tanggap ko na na mayaman ako. But at this time, lying on a hospital bed, fourth stage cancer, And remembering all my life, I realized that all the accolades, the praises, and the riches of which I was once so proud have become insignificant with my imminent death. Pagkaharap po ng kamatayan, wala na palang silbi yung pera. Wala na palang silbi yung lahat ng papuri ng tao. Lahat yung pag-angad mo ng pwesto at kapangyarihan. Sabi niya, In my hospital room in the dark, when I look at green lights of the equipment for artificial respiration and feel the buzz of their mechanical sounds, toot, 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 I can feel the breath of my approaching death looming over me. Sa mga ganong pagkakataon, mag-iibang paningin mo sa mundo. Sa mga ganong pagkakataon, makikita mo yung buhay mo tignan kung tama ba ang pagpatakbo nito. Sagot niya, Only now do I understand that once you accumulate enough money for the rest of your life, you have to pursue objectives that are not related to wealth. Pag alam mong naan doon na, matuto kang magsabing enough. Pag naan doon na, matuto mong alamin na hindi ang pera, hindi para sa pera. That when you have enough, you begin to think of something else which in the end, money cannot buy. Sabi niya, it should be something more important. For example, stories of love, art, dreams of my childhood. Ang sabi niya, please stop pursuing wealth. It can only make a person into a twisted being, just like me. Inamin niya. Yun din ang hinangad ko eh. Hanggang finally death cuts me off and tells me that is not the most important. Sa awa ng Diyos, may mga tao ngayon 
na dahil nakakita nila itong sinasabi ni Steve Jobs, have decided to make a change of way of the way of looking at money. Si Buffett, si Bill Gates, incredible. Bill Gates has decided to leave only to his son $10 million despite of the billions and billions. Why? Para yung batay matutong magtrabaho. Para yung batay wag lamang isipin na pera ang pinakamalaga. Si Buffett has decided na to give 5%, 10%, 3%, 50%, 70% ng kanyang yaman away para magamit sa kung dapat kung saan pagkakagamitan. The mistake of our story, of the man, of the boy in our story, he found na yung pinakamahal na sa kanya ay yung yaman. Steve Jobs will have to say this to him, God has made us one way. We can feel the love in the heart of each of us and not illusions built by fame or money like I made in my life. I realize I cannot take them with me. I can only take with me the memories that were strengthened by love. That is the true wealth that will follow you, that will accompany you, that will give you strength, that will give light to go ahead. My dear friends, too bad only on the hospital bed would Steve Jobs finally, Jobs finally realize, Sandale, hindi pala pera ang dapat maging Diyos, ang pinakamalaga, pag-ibig. Love can travel thousands of miles, and so life has no limits. In fact, it is true. The love of those who go ahead of us does not stop. They continue to love us. We can continue to love them. Move to where you want to go. Strive to reach the goals you want to achieve. Everything is in your heart, is in your hands. My dear friends, what is the world's most expensive bed? Guess nyo. Anong pinakamahal na, hospi- na, na, na bed? Alam mo, sagot niya, hospital bed. Huh? Bakit? Kasi if you have money, you can hire someone to drive your car. If you have money, you can ask someone to do things for you. If you have money, you can ask someone to substitute for you. But you cannot hire someone to take your illness that is killing you. Hindi mo sasabihin, dito ka sa bed ko, ikaw nang mamatay. It has become the most expensive of all beds. Material things lost can be found. But one thing can never, you can never find when you lose life. Sabi niya, whatever stage of life we are right now, at the end, we will have to face the day when the curtain falls. So, at pag dumating na yung puntong yun, na nagsara na ang mga kortina ng palabas, what has your life been? Advice niya, please treasure your family love. Love your spouse. Love your friends. Treat everyone well. Stay close to the people around you. Today is Letare Sunday. Nakapink uli ang pare. Because we are told na sa kabila ng totoo, naging palpak ang buhay natin. In the God we believe in, we will still find mercy. One who desires not our punishment, but our return to life. Jeev Stab, Steve Jobs has understood finally towards the end. Huwag nating ipursu ang buhay ng ating nakakalimutang pinakamalaka ay ang pag-ibig na dapat nating hinahangad at atin ding ipinibigay. Amen. Please all rise. As we now declare, believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With you, brothers and sisters, 
Like the father in the gospel parable, God waits for us to come home that He may restore us to our dignity as His children. Asking for strength from the Holy Spirit, let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father as we pray. Lord, listen to our prayers. Lord, listen to our prayers. That the Church of God and her leaders may experience the mercy of the Father and seek to put that mercy into practice, especially through the sacrament of reconciliation and through acts of love, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayers. That we may not see the Lord as a jealous God, prone to punish, but as a loving Father who wishes the best for His children, and so turn to Him with confidence, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayers. That prodigal children who have abandoned God and their faith may realize their misery, come to their senses, and retrace their steps to the Lord, who alone can satisfy all human longings, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayers. That those who strive to be obedient to God's commandments may do so with a spirit of joy. That may they never be jealous of the ways of the wicked, nor of the pleasures that come from evil, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayers. That we may have the humility to see that all of us are God's prodigal children, that we have been reconciled to the Father in Christ and are invited to share in the Father's joy, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayers. We pray for the healing of Mark Dominic Mejia, of Father Nick Reforial, SSP of Abi de la Fuente, Leila Recato, Jocelyn Ong, and Bernardita Salvador, as we pray for the repose of the souls of Soledad Aguas and Fernando Barrios. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, listen to our prayers. Father of love and mercy, we are not worthy to be called your sons and daughters, but you have reconciled us to yourself through Christ our brother. Hear our petitions and make us ever more like him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are presented to the altar. acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting 
for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is through the right and just of our duty now our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Jesus our Lord. By the mystery of the Incarnation, He has led the human race that walked in darkness into the regions of the faith and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin to the waters of red generation to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration and with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end acclaim. of holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the blood and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Oh, glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. to the Father in heaven in the manner Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Sa isang resort sa Boracay, kung saan kami nagstay, Tuwang-tuwa ako doon sa lahat ng mga nagtatrabaho mula sa waiter, mula sa in-charge, sa manager, sa mga cooks, lahat ng mga kakasalubong bong bastang nagtatrabaho roon. The same din yan sa ginagawa nila dito sa kanilang hotel malapit mo lamang sa Makati. Na pag sila'y may nakita kahit sino mang naandun na kanila pong uh, guests, sasabi nila, Good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. Sir, is everything okay? But always touching here. As if to say, this I do from a heart that wants to care and to love. It's a beautiful gesture when you tell someone, good morning, and you say it from the heart. Today, as we share the gift of peace, let us learn from Steve Jobs. This, the heart that loves, is the one that truly really is important. We share with each other, the peace of the Lord. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
This is Jesus who because of the Father's desire that we be reconciled, He comes to be the one reconciling. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who come to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Healing Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Po lamang. The SM Catholic Ministry, in cooperation with the Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord, itong ating chapel, and the Acts Catholic Prayer Community, ito pong nagsisidbi sa atin ngayon, will be having a Lenten recollection sa 
ito yung matagal na nating ginagawa every Holy Wednesday. This time, ang ating pong theme is Jesus Misericordia Vultus. Jesus, the face of mercy. Jesus, the face of mercy. Yan po'y ayon sa ating tema para sa taon ng mercy. Uh, ang gagawin po natin yung collection, recollection mula alas 12, assembly time. Tapos sa alauna, magbibigay po ng talk si Bishop Milo Vergara ng Pasig, the Eucharist meal and dialogue of mercy. Tapos at 2.30 po, uh, the cross, the hour of glory, the hour of mercy, si Father Dave Concepcion. Pagkatapos, mayroon po tayong way of the cross, si Father Domi Guzman. And at 4.30, Mayroon pong talk si Father Linos Nicasio. Naku, matutuwa kayo rito. Napakagaling. It's Easter, the risen Christ lives in the church, the family of mercy. At 5.30 po, mayroon po tayong misa. As a culminating event, I will be presiding in that Mass. Ang maganda nga pa ulit-ulit namin sinasabi, there will be 30 priests who will make themselves available for confession. At libre po ang lahat ng ito. So you can invite. Gagawin po natin sa lahat ng mega trade hall. Pubuksan natin yan. So try to come early para sa araw pong yan. But for this coming Wednesday, <clears throat> ang ating pong Acts per Community ay magkakaroon po ng isang speaker, si Brother Ed Villacorte, The Seven Greatest Words of Love. Yun po kanyang topic. Gagawin po yan at uh, on March 9, uh, Wednesday, uh, at uh, 7.30, 7.15 in the evening ang, ang adoration, tapos meron po tayong talk. So, inaanyayahan po namin kayo, ito po libre dito po gagawin sa ating chapel. <coughs> uh, ang aking congregation to Society of St. Paul ay para sa mass media of communication. At kaya po inaandong kami sa TV, dating nagtrabaho ako sa Radio Veritas din, Nandyan pa rin ako sa CBCP para sa pelikula. Pero po itong amin congregation ay nasa 32 countries na po. Uh, last January 13, tumanggap po ako ng isang message mula sa aking superior. Father Mario, wag kang aalis. Mami ang gabi, tatanggap ka ng tawag. <clears throat> Kanino? From the superior general and a counselor. Sila po yung aming highest authority sa congregation na naandun nakabase sa Roma. Ang sabi, tatawag sila. Pag ganun ang balita, kakabakabahan ka na. Oo, ano kaya to? So humarap po ako sa kanila sa Skype at ang sinabi kanito, alam mo, dito sa Roma, medyo matanda na yung mga tao rito. Eh, <clears throat> nakangailangan na tayo ng mga bagong blood, etc. And you know, we have a retreat house, pag-aari ng Society of St. Paul, na pinupuntahan ng Santo Papa. Doon siya nag retreat Eh, nangangailangan sila ng isang person na who can make the place alive, etc., etc. At naisip namin na yung person na yon ay ikaw. So, ang sabi ko, patay. I said, bakit ako? Napakarami kayo namin sa buong mundo. First time nilang i-assign sa hindi Italiano. <clears throat> it has always been an Italian who was in charge. Why me? Eh kasi, we saw that you are a person of welcome. At ikaw yung tao na we have or who has the qualities na aming hinahanap. Anong ibig yung sabihin? Ay, nakakahanap ka ng connection, nakakagawa ka. And I realized, I made a mistake. You know why? Kasi nung ako'y nasa Roma minsan, nag-aral ako doon, tinatawagan nila ako, Mario, baba! Dali, dali, dali! At ang Pilipinas ay nasa balita. Baba naman kaagad ako. Only to find out na yung balita ay yung payatas. Kung saan tinabunan yung marami. Hindi naman kaaya-ayang balita yun. Balik kaagad ako sa kwarto ko. Nahiya ako tuloy. Sabi ko sa kasarili, pag kayo doon ating sa Pilipinas, papakita ko sa inyo na hindi yan ng ganyan ang Pilipinas. May mga magaganda kami, hindi lang kami nakatira sa puno at nakalambitin at sa mga kweba. May magaganda rin. Kailan dumating sila? Nakita niyo po sila last time. Yung napakarami nila rito mga superiors of the world. 
Ako pong in charge na dalhin sila. So, dinala ko talaga sila sa the best. nag kami with the Vice President sa Coconut Palace. They were treated as diplomats. Dinala ko sila sa Tagaytay Highlands. Talagang nag sila at the best of wines. Dinala ko sila <clears throat> sa isang cultural show. At ang pinakamaganda, dinala ko sila sa cruise sa Manila Bay. At sinayos ko ha, dapat 5.30. Bakit? Background para sa picture, Manila Bay Sunset. Tapos naka-roof deck sila, may tagatugtog pa, kaganda ng mga pagkain, kaganda ng mga wine. In fact, nang mapadaan nga kami sa Manila Hotel, kasi naka-cruise naka kami sa bay, nagpaputok yung Manila Hotel ng fireworks, may affair sila. Tanong nila sa akin, yan ba kasama sa preparation? Inangkin ko na rin. Oo, oh, 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 kako, oo, oh, oh, yes. Eh hindi ko alam, nagsuscoring na pala yung mga iba. Kaya ang sabi sa akin, well, we have decided that you will be the administrator of this retreat house where the Holy Father goes to. Hindi ako makaimik. So, ang sabi ko, nakupatay. So, ang tanong ko, how much time do you give me to give an answer? Kasi ang usual niya, uh, can I pray over this? No, ganun. Ang sagot sa aking tanong, how much time? nag italiano kami, Cinque secundi. Five seconds. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, huwag ka na mag-isip. Nagpaksakay, di naman yung isa. Di ba, minsan inimbita ka na namin na maging parang liaison natin sa congregation, ng congregation sa Santo Papa. You were supposed to have an office within the Vatican grounds. You were supposed to have access to the Secretary of State of the Pope. You were supposed to enter in and out of the Vatican Palace. Tinanggihan mo yun. Sana huwag mo naman kaming tanggihan ngayon. I am going to Rome. You know, By the first week of April, I will have to leave for a new assignment. You know. <laughs> Ipagdasal niyo po ako, mahirap po ang buhay roon. No? Kasi dito, bumubulwak ang biyaya. Doon, kahit tikatik, wala. May pari po kaming kausap, Pilipino. Siya po ay, uh, ngayon ay, uh, siya po ay uh, Paris Priest doon. Father Mar, hirap buhay dito. O bakit? Di ba, tayo nakadepende lamang sa binyag, kasal, nagsisimba, nagpapablessing, nagpapamisa sa offices, nagpapamisa sa bahay. Dito, walang misa sa offices, walang nagpapamisa sa bahay. Father, yung binyag ko da, buong buwan, dadalawa. Yung aking kasal, dadalawa. Yung nagsisimba sa araw-araw, pipito. Kaya dinadasal ko na lang kay Lord, sana Lord, mas marami-rami yung mamamatay. Para kumita naman ako. I'm going completely dependent on the Lord. I will definitely be uh, realizing it's a different life. Uh, eh, paano kung wala na kaming retreatants? Magbibilang na lang ako ng mga puno roon. Kaya mm. pag kinausap niyo ako sa telepon at iba nang pinagsasasabi ko, ibig sabihin may tama na ako noon. You know? <laughs> we will continue to pray for each other, that's for sure. We will arrange that the Mass will continue with your support. The Society of St. Paul will be back, definitely be more involved. May mga pari tayong bagong pupunta. Pero ito pa nga ako, oh. I will be praying for you. Hanggang pa naman tayo sa first week of April that we will be seeing each other. We will probably have a despedida party for something like that. But for now, we are looking forward to a new assignment. Kagustuhan ni Lord, we say thy will be done. Please all rise. Let us pray. O God who enlightens everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you in all sincerity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
sombra. 